go. <gasps> gotcha. Oh. Little foot, little foot. Hi, Petrie. What's going on? <laughs> me, me fly here. See something from sky, little foot must see. What is it? Oh, it big surprise. Follow me. Hello, little foot. Dad, you're back! All I see is the day in front of us. All I see is the day in front of us. Burning bright with a newborn sun. Come follow me. Hills to climb and valleys to roam. Oh, streams to follow. Shorty are back in the Great Valley, Dad. I know it's sooner than our regular visit, but... You do know why your dad's here, don't you? Bron, you're here. We were beginning to wonder if you were going to make it. I've already begun to set up the testing place. Testing place? Yeah, for the big long neck test. Huh? The Big Long Neck Test is a series of tasks many young long necks must face before they reach the time of great growing. It's usually given to a young long neck by his mother or father. That's why I'm here. So, what do I have to do to pass the Big Long Neck Test? Ah, that would be telling. The test is designed to see if a long neck has the qualities needed to someday lead a herd. Whoa. You better get to sleep early tonight, little foot. Grandma's right. At the first sign of the bright circle, we'll head out to the testing place. What's the matter, little foot? Nervous about the test? A little. I really want to pass this test. But I wish I had more time to prepare. Braun says it's the kind of test you're either ready for or not. <laughs> that sounds like something Ruby might say. Well, I think you're lucky. I really want to take the test, but Braun won't let me. It will be your turn soon, Shorty. Once you're ready. But I'm ready now. Uh, maybe you could give Shorty the test today instead of me. <sighs> it's time, little foot. Let's go. I am ready to be a leader. Why don't I take you over to the watering place? You can play with Littlefoot's friends. Yeah, okay. I bet I can prove to Littlefoot's friends I'm ready to be a leader. <laughs> Everybody, look! Here come Grandma Longneck with Shorty! Hi! Hi, Hello, Shorty! Shorty. Hi. Shorty has come to play with you while Littlefoot's off with his father. Oh, that's <laughs> great! Mm. Thank you, children. 
Shorty. We are playing Swimmer and Splasher now. No thanks. I can play Swimmer and Splasher anytime. But while I'm here in the Great Valley, I want to see the Great Stone Walkover. The Great Stone Walkover? Yeah, Littlefoot told me about it last time I was here. It stretches high above the fast water. I can't wait to walk across it. Uh, I'm not sure we want to. Sounds like fun, an adventure. Yeah, and Littlefoot's told us how you all love to go on adventures. I want to go adventuring, adventuring, adventuring. I want to go adventuring to the stone walk over now. But do you even know the way? A walk like that could take all day. We know it very far away. I'm not that slow. Hmm. Follow me, I'll take you there. Why would we follow you? Uh, because... Because I've already taken the big long neck test. You have? Of course! And that means I'm ready to lead my herd on an adventure. So now we're his herd? Excuse me, Shorty, but the stone walkover is that way. I knew that. Uh, I was just gonna take a drink first. I am not so sure he will be able to find the walkover by himself. Yeah, well, if he gets lost, then we won't have to deal with him. But I really want to see the Great Stone Walkover, too. Oh, all right. Hey, Shorty, wait for us. We'll go with you. That's right! Follow me! Here we are, son. Now can you tell me what the big long neck test is? The test is comprised of three separate tasks. Each task ends when you find a red tree star. A red tree star. Okay. Now, the first task is a difficult path that will test your strength, endurance, and courage. You'll need to reach the top of Flat Mountain to complete the task. Uh, okay. to it. 
I can't go on an adventure with someone that eats like that. Mm. You can't? Ugh, no way! Ugh. But I want to see the Great Stone Walk over, too. It's okay, Chomper. Let's you and I go to the Great Stone Walk over. Everyone else can go with Shorty. Oh, great. Lucky us. <sighs> Come on, let's go catch up with Shorty. <laughs> well done, little foot. Now it's time to move on to the next task. The next task is a test of intelligence. You must find the second red tree star, which is hidden within this forest. How am I going to do that? You have three clues. The stars have fallen, face the tree fuzz, and root out the problem. The stars have fallen, face the tree fuzz, root out the problem. How am I supposed to find a single red tree star here? There it is, the stone walkover. Now, which way to go? Me fly up and see which way best. I think I would like to rest for a while. I would. I would. Well, fine. If you're gonna rest, I'll lead everyone else without you. What? You can't just leave them behind, too. Watch me. Hmm. Okay, we will meet you there. Bet you can't keep up with me, or are you too afraid? Afraid? Arrgh! Sarah, Shorty, you taking long way. How could Shorty possibly have passed a leadership test? Maybe a test for bad leaders. The stars have fallen. Face the tree fuzz, root out the problem. Hey, that tree doesn't have any tree stars. The stars have fallen. Wait, if this tree doesn't have any tree stars, how am I supposed to find a red tree star here? Stars have fallen, face the tree fuzz. Tree fuzz, and it's only growing on one side of the tree. Now. Root out the problem. Let's see. The red tree star! Well done, little foot. Now you can move on to the final task. So long. Well, uh, well, we decided to take the adventurer's way up. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, careful, Shorty. You don't want to get too close. This walkover doesn't look that high. Oh, but it is. It is very, very high. Huh? You're all just scaredy eggs. But I'm not. Whoa! Chopper 
this way. Miko asked them for help. Your final task is to find a safe way across the fire pit. So, what long neck quality is this supposed to test? I can't tell you. That's part of the test. Well, I might be able to use those rocks to get across. But the fire bubbles might burst onto the rocks. So it's not a very safe way across. Uh, there must be some other way. We're here to help you help Shorty. Looks like you could use it. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Can we fall already? Wow! Thanks for your help, everybody. Yes, You're yes, welcome. Yes. Mm. Because of all your help, I'm gonna let you two be part of my group. Uh, gee. Thanks! I've used logs like that to cross rivers and canyons. But I know if I push the log into the fire pit, it'll catch fire. That's not very safe either. I guess it's against the rules to ask for a hint, huh? Uh, this way, everybody. That? Not way back. So, there's no point in telling him. He's too busy leading us to listen. <sighs> me wish Littlefoot here. Let me see if I can't give our leader a little leadership. You know, Shorty, sometimes the best leaders know when to let someone else lead. Really? Uh, sure. So, maybe you should lead us to show you the way. Right. As the leader, I want you to tell me how to get back. Okay. Follow me. If I can't find a way across this fire pit, I'll fail the test. And I don't want that to happen. Big, big, long neck test. The very big, big, long neck test. It's been tough, but kind of fun. I've had to think and climb and run. Now one more task and I'll have done. The long neck so hard to complete. I'll figure it out. There must be a way. Crossing bubbling fire by myself just doesn't seem safe. So how do I do it? Big, big, long neck test. The very big, big, long neck test. It's something that I've got to do to prove that I'm a leader I only hope I make it through the long neck test. Long neck test. Maybe, maybe I could just jump across the fire pit. I can jump across that big fire pit. <sighs> I'm sorry, Dad. I just can't find a safe way to do this one. I guess I'm not ready to be a leader yet.
Congratulations, Littlefoot. You've passed the big long neck test. What? But how? I didn't cross the fire pit. How could I pass? This test was different than the others. It was a test of judgment. The task was impossible, and you correctly decided not to try it. What if I had tried to cross the fire pit? I would have stopped you, and you wouldn't have passed. But even if you failed the test, Littlefoot, I'd still <laughs> love you. Let's go. Here they come. Complete the test? Yes, he did. Dad, someday I hope I can lead a herd just like you. Well, Littlefoot, it seems that you already have your own herd to lead. Oh, great. Another long neck leader. Hey, Littlefoot, you gotta tell me all about the test. Don't give Shorty any hints, Littlefoot. Huh? Hints? <laughs> Shorty's not quite ready to take the big long neck test. I'll say he's not ready. Hey, wait! You mean he hasn't taken it yet? Uh, no, but I will soon. Hmm. Not too soon, I hope. <laughs> Oh, now I'll never get to sleep. Don't worry, Trisha. It's okay. <laughs> Big tree star to keep us all dry. <laughs> Oops, me sorry. Look, Spike. The sky water makes the groundwater dance. <laughs> wow, Ruby. There sure is a lot of sky water coming down. That's sky water, Chomper. It just keeps coming down until it doesn't. Well, at least the secret caverns keep us safe from Red Claw. Which is good, since I promised your mom and dad I'd keep us safe from Red Claw. Yeah, and tonight they're keeping us dry, too. Huh? Look! The stone teeth are dripping! Let's see. Oh dear, now your tail is dripping. Ah! I gotta make it stop! Wait, Chomper! Oh no! Mm. Oh, I'll never get to sleep. All I see is the day in front of us. All I see is the day in front of us. Burning bright with a newborn sun. Come follow me. Hills to climb and valleys to roam. Oh, streams to follow our way home. To the land before time. a long time last night. It did, it did. Well, me might like sky water if it's not so wet. Well, Petrie, the bright circle is out now, so it'll dry everything up. Right, Sarah? It better 
matter, little foot. My tree stars are soggy. Hey! Those tree stars are not yours to eat, dome heads. No, no, no. For the thank you, Ducky. <laughs> Having tree stars to share is always good. Yep, yep, yep. Hello, my friends, my friends, hello. Hi, Hi Ruby. Ruby. <sighs> Hi. Hey, Chomper, what's wrong? Not much, I guess. I just need to find a new cave to live in. Hmm. There is always something wrong with Chomper's cave. Yup, yup, yup. Not always. Ruby and me are really happy your families let us stay in the secret caverns. Mm-hmm. Especially with Red Claw and his fast biters scaring everyone in the mysterious beyond. Okay, so what's wrong with your cave this time? It's leaky. It's a cave. How bad can it be? Come on, I'll show you. The water started coming in during the big sky water last night. I could not sleep with the dripping sound either. No, no, no. It was worse last night. Yes. Though there might have been less water if Chomper hadn't made those holes. Ugh. Yeah, so I thought we could go exploring and look for a new cave. Explore? The the secret caverns? I don't know, Chomper. It'll be fun! An adventure! I want to go adventuring, adventuring, adventuring. I want to go adventuring and find a brand new cave. Will there be things with glowing eyes that use the dark as a disguise? And try catch Tree by surprise! I don't think so. We'll look through caves both big and small. <laughs> see funny rocks or a waterfall. There's more to see. Come on with me. So if you go adventuring, adventuring, there's just one thing. You know that you are going to have. Too dark, we go back now. I think we should try this way. <laughs> okay, but the air is fresher this way. I think we should go the way we can see best. <laughs> hey, Spike, nice job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. great. <laughs> Going the way we can see will let us see the way we're going. Sarah? I suppose. Okay, then let's go this way. Ruby, you said what I said, but biggerer, and everyone listened. If I could talk big, everyone would listen to me too. That would be good. <laughs> as long as the big isn't so big that you scare everyone. Like Red Claw? Yeah, like Red Claw.
This cave is too small. And this cave floor is too bumpy. This cave smells funny. <laughs> don't give up yet. I'm sure we can find a good cave. Good cave? <laughs> I don't think there is such a thing. Hey, guys, you have to see this. This is what we have to see. I think we can all fit. Follow me. What is this place? It's a cave of many voices. Listen! Hello! 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 Wow, a talkback! A big talkback! Hauga! Hauga! Oh no! What was that? <laughs> <laughs> That was some roar, Ducky. Yeah, even I'm impressed. Oh, I sound big now. Yes, yes, yes. If I can talk big in here, Ruby, can you show me how to talk big in the Great Valley? You just think I talk big because I'm bigger than you. But if you were bigger than you, you'd talk bigger too. Hmm? But then, it wouldn't be big to you. Then. Can you try to help me talk big, please? I guess I can try. <laughs> <laughs> me, great flyer! 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 Woohoo! Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> full of stinkily buzzing things you might like. Gee, that sounds great. Then let's go. Spicy, but good. Uh, not sure me want to hear details, but you welcome. So who's ready to go explore the cavern some more? Uh, uh. <clears throat> We're still eating, Chomper. You flat teeth sure take a long time to eat. Say, Chomper, why don't you go on ahead and we'll catch up with you? Great idea, Littlefoot! Uh, where Ruby and Ducky? <sighs> Ducky, I've thought about it, and here's what I think. To talk big, you need to feel big inside. So if you can think big, you can talk big, too. I can think of big things, like that tree. It is big. Good. Now be the tree. <gasps> oh, I cannot be a tree. No, no, no. But you can pretend to be as big as the tree, right? Oh, pretend. I am a tree. Okay. Now that you're feeling big, let's talk big. Like this. Fill your body big with air. <sighs> And you let it go from there. Open wide so you can say that you're feeling big today. I'm talking big. One more try. Step 
Stand up straight, now don't be shy. Your big voice will make you proud. Let it sing out loud. I am talking big. Now you're talking big. Big, like a big, big tree. Really, really big. Big like Saurus Rock. Big like the biggest Ooh. big. Big as big can be. I am talking big. You I are talking big. big. <laughs> Thank you, Ruby. My friends, hello. Hi, Ruby. Er, Ducky? May I have some tree stars? Oh, yeah, sure. Here. Hey, are you trying to talk differently, Ducky? <gasps> oh, yes, I am. Oh, yes, yes. I, I mean, yes, Sarah. Since I feel big now, I am going to talk big, too. <laughs> well, it might be more convincing if you were a little taller. She'll be taller one day. Guys! Guys! Guess what? I found a new cave to live in. Come on, you gotta see it! Uh, gee, Chomper. It's pretty nice. Yeah, for a cave. Don't you just love it? And best of all, no stone teeth! <laughs> 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 Sounds like someone else is in the secret caverns. Well, there's only one way to find out who it is. Spike made seems a lot bigger. That's the mysterious beyond out there. Oh no, it's Red Claw. Fast spiders. <laughs> Let's go. We don't want them to see us up here. We cannot let those sharp teeth stay in here. No, no, no. Don't talk big now, Ducky. while you guys get help. Hold him off? Like an appetizer? Ugh. Listen, we gotta stick together. If only the Cave of Many Voices could make our bodies as big as it makes our voices. Ducky, that's it. Remember how your big talkback scared Petrie? Oh, me remember that. If we lead Red Claw and his fast spiders toward the Cave of Many Voices, we can go inside and make it sound like there are more of us. And bigger of us. Uh, we roar like we big and angry? No problem. Not problem for you.
can't see you if you're still. Yeah, but he can still smell us. Look, we are very close to the Cave of Many Voices. We are. But the shark teeth will see us if we go over there. They might not see me. I am small. So brave, Ducky. Yeah, we never make it into cave without you sneaking in first. <laughs> Sometimes being little is better than talking big. But I know I will always be big in here. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> <laughs> about. I do, I do. <sighs> Tree stars. But the tree star song has changed. There's something new. <laughs> well, 
Well, the new song's not coming from these tree stars. Um. <sighs> Nothing like tree stars to start the day right. All I see is the day in front of us. All I see is the day in front of us. Burning bright with a newborn sun. Come follow me. Hills to climb and valleys to roam. Oh, streams to follow all the way home. To the land before time. about hard water sweets. <gasps> hard water sweets? Uh, what are those, Mr. Thicknose? Oh, hard water sweets are sweet bubbles covered by hard water. Oh my, that sounds like something I've never even heard of. I'm not surprised. Hard water sweets can only be found on the first day of the cold time. <gasps> That today. Say, maybe we can find them. Don't even bother. That hard water sweet stuff is a load of nonsense. Now, Mr. Threehorn, I assure you, it's not nonsense. Oh? Well, if they really exist, why haven't I ever found them? Perhaps because they're hard to find. <laughs> mm. It's not funny. Tree sweet. Mm -hmm. Water sweet. <laughs> Tree sweet. <laughs> Sometimes I think Mr. Threehorn just enjoys arguing. Sarah? <laughs> Little foot. <laughs> Those two, too. <sighs> Those guys. It's like they're all so busy talking, they can't hear the tree stars sing. Oh, there's that new green food song again. If hard water sweets are so hard to find, how can they be found? Well, you have to look on a certain mountain on the edge of the Great Valley. It's not an easy journey. That's never stopped us before. Now, to get there, you have to go to the tree with two trunks. Tree with two trunks. Make a left at the tree and head towards the mountain on the right until you reach the waterfall. <sighs> waterfall. Go behind the waterfall and around the big stone to the Gusty Canyon. Gutsy Canyon. And then, they're supposed to be there at the top. See? Even he doesn't know exactly where to look. They do sound hard to find. True, but I hear it's the most wonderful tasting food you can find. At first, they're cold and crunchy, but when you bite down, they're juicy and sweet. Oh, they sound like the most delicious thing I've never tasted. If you like that sort of thing. Puh, I've never even seen that sort of thing. And you shouldn't be telling kids about things that don't exist. Well, you don't have to believe it if you don't want to. I believe you, Mr. Thicknose, and I want to try and find them. 
If you kids can bring me back a hard water suite, I'll give you my share of the tree sweets. Huh? Well, if you bring me back a hard water suite, I'll give you all the tree sweets in the Great Valley. All of them? Uh, well, um... All that I can find. Sounds good to me. Yeah, I do. <laughs> hmm? Hmm. Now what's going on? Everybody ready? Yeah, let's go! Go? Go where? <sighs> I know what this means. They want to go adventuring, adventuring, adventuring. They want to go adventuring, I'm really not sure why. Why can't they all just be like me and eat some tree stars from a tree? But they always want to be off on their way. Whatever they want us to do, we'll end up being dangerous too, I'm sure they know. But yet they'll go. And if they go adventuring, I know that there is just one thing that I am going to have to do. I'll have to go adventuring. Do. Ready to look for the hard water sweets. Yep, yep, yep. <sighs> oh well, here we go. <sighs> the new Tree Star song is getting louder. Tree with two trunks. <laughs> huh? That's not it. The new Tree Star song is coming from somewhere else. It's coming from up there. Uh, can't we go this way? <sighs> we are going this way. again. We are going this way, Spike. We are, we are. <sighs> Spike, shh. Sometime even little grunt make hard water and ground sparkles give way the big landslide. Arguing again. 
All this mist, and the waterfall's so loud I can't make out anything. Star song. It must be this way. No, Petrie. Mr. Thickno said. No. Petrie. Mm -hmm. Look at Spike go. If he can do it, so can we. We can. We won't know unless we do. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. did say they're hard to find. Maybe we no look hard enough. Yes. Yeah. Or maybe my dad was right and they don't exist. <laughs> Where's it coming from? It's so loud. It's like I'm right on top of it. Mr. Thicknose wouldn't just make it up. They have to exist. Guys? No, they do not. They do too. Do not. Do too. Do no not. No talk too loud. Do, too. do not. They do too. It's coming from down here. The new song is from Sweet Bubbles Covered in Hard Water! Oh, the others have to see this! Guys, hard water crack! Do not! Do two! Do not! Do two! Listen! Be quiet! Uh oh. Every time we go adventuring. <laughs> Oh, 
Where are they? Spike, is that you? Hmm? Spike? Sweets on the way down, little foot. <laughs> Don't wander off, Spike. But if Spike hadn't wandered when he wandered, he would have been caught in the landslide, too. Then Spike could not have saved us. No, no, no. Yeah, well, too bad Spike couldn't save us from Littlefoot's idea to find hard water sweets. <laughs> But I know where they are! Do not! They do too! Another fight, the same old sight. But today, I know I'm right. There's something special in the air. And I want us to go there. Come on, guys, follow me. I know just what you want to see. Burr, 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 burr. I think Spike said, please follow me. Come on, follow me. I do not know about you, but I am going to follow Spike. Whatever he thinks is worth seeing is probably worth a look. Yeah! Another landslide. Oh, wait for me. <laughs> Hard water sweets. This is the way things should be. All of us happy and eating, not fighting and hungry. <sighs> mm -hmm. I'm still impressed you kids found hard water sweets. We never would have found them if it were not for Spike. No, no, no. He sure yes, did. Oh, I found them. Thanks, Spike. All right, here you go. All the tree sweets I could find. What about those? Petrie, even we couldn't get those down. Yeah? Well, watch this. Daddy. 
Why didn't you think of that? Me? Maybe they might argue less if they ate more. You know, sometimes I wish we could all be a little more like Spike. I do too, Ruby. I do, I do. 